The race around the moon. In the small town of Starville, everyone was buzzing about the first ever race around the moon. Kids from every corner of town were invited to build their own spaceships and join the race. There were only two rules: the spaceship had to be homemade, and it had to actually fly, or at least float enough to make it around the moon without crashing. The day before the big race, kids crowded into Rocket Park to show off their makeshift spaceships. There were all sorts of crazy designs. Jimmy and his little brother Timmy had turned their old bathtub into a spaceship, complete with a shower head that sprayed water behind them for rocket power. Lizzie and her best friend Anna had built a spaceship from giant soda bottles, hoping the fizz would help them zoom around the moon. Then there was Carlos, who had wrapped his dad's old lawnmower in tin foil and glued on a few garden gnomes as co-pilots. He said the lawnmower would give him turbo boost. And there was Simon, who was convinced his hot air balloon made out of plastic bags would be perfect for the low gravity on the moon. Every kid had a totally unique, somewhat questionable, but absolutely hilarious spaceship. On the morning of the race, the mayor, dressed in a shiny silver spacesuit, announced the countdown. Ready, set. Blast off! All the kids jumped into their makeshift spaceships, frantically pulling levers, pressing buttons, and shouting, "Zoom, zoom!" Jimmy and Timmy's bathtub ship sputtered to life, spraying water all over the crowd. Somehow, it lifted off the ground, doing slow, lazy spins as it drifted up toward the stars. The soda bottle ship popped off the ground with a fizzy whoosh, and Lizzie and Anna giggled as they soared higher and higher. Carlos's lawnmower sputtered, making funny noises, but it zoomed up in a straight line, leaving a trail of grass clippings behind. Meanwhile, Simon's plastic bag balloon started drifting too quickly, and he shouted, "Oh, it's going too high!" As the kids left Earth's atmosphere, their ships bobbed and bounced through the stars like rubber ducks in a bath. Then, as they neared the moon, they spotted a surprise: a family of space chickens floating along with them, flapping their wings in the low gravity. Look at those chickens! Shouted Timmy. They're racing us. The space chickens clucked, flapped, and did their best to catch up. It was now a race between kids and space chickens around the moon. The space chickens were fast, but the soda bottle ship was zooming ahead, powered by fizz and giggles. Lizzie and Anna cheered, spraying soda from the back to speed up even more. But then Carlos's lawnmower sputtered and zoomed forward, just as a piece of grass clipping flew into Lizzie's eye, causing her to swerve. Meanwhile, Jimmy and Timmy's bathtub spaceship spun around and around, narrowly avoiding a floating space rock. Hold on, Timmy! Jimmy shouted as the ship spiraled, shooting water out in all directions. The space chickens dodged the water, clucking indignantly. As they reached the halfway point around the moon, Simon's plastic bag balloon drifted to the front, catching a gentle solar wind. I'm winning! He shouted, pumping his fists. But just then, the wind died down, and his balloon began to sink. The finish line was close. Carlos revved up his lawnmower, determined to beat everyone. But his known co-pilots started falling off one by one, bumping into space chickens and sending them into a flurry of feathers. Lizzie and Anna shot a final blast of fizz, and their soda bottle ship zoomed forward, passing the space chickens. In the final moments, all the spaceships converged, each trying to be the first across the line. The bathtub, the soda bottles, the lawnmower, and the plastic bag balloon were neck and neck, while the space chickens clucked and flapped furiously to catch up. In the last second, Timmy had an idea. Spray the water harder. 
Jimmy turned on the shower full blast, creating a massive cloud of water that somehow pushed them forward with a whoosh. They crossed the finish line in a wet, spinning, giggling mess, just as the other spaceships zoomed by. The crowd cheered as Jimmy and Timmy's bathtub spaceship spun to a stop on the moon's surface, water spraying everywhere. The mayor, who had been watching through his telescope, announced, and the winners are the Bathtub Brothers. The other kids cheered, high-fiving, and even the space chickens clucked in congratulations. Jimmy and Timmy, soaked but grinning, raised their hands in victory. They had just completed the first ever race around the moon. In a bathtub. The race might have been silly and chaotic, but one thing was certain, it was the most fun anyone in Starville had ever had in space. And as they floated back to Earth, each kid knew they'd be back next year with an even wackier spaceship, ready for another adventure around the moon.